Where would you get Darth Vader, his stormtroopers, and an alien in the same room without an intergalactic war breaking out? Well, nowhere on Earth, usually. And that was the question posed by the thousands of fans who flocked to the Telford International Centre for the Midlands Movie and Comic Book Expo. The event, which was held in Shropshire for the very first time, was a chance for people to come face to face with their space age heroes from the film and comic book world. As well as the usual stalls, displays and games, comic and movie books buffs dressed up in an array of spectacular outfits as they prepared to meet some of the real life actors who make the sci-fi world come alive. This is an amazing event here today. Um, I've never seen quite such a mixture of different people. Uh, we've got fans of the, the comic arts in Japan, we've got fans of movies, um, so it's, it's quite a mix of people, but um, loads of people have been come to say hi, primarily because of my work in the film Willow. There seems to be quite a, a, a sort of fantasy fan base uh, here. Um, but of course Star Wars, Harry Potter, they're, they're just as popular as well. When you're a film actor, it's quite a sort of lonely profession in the sense that you, you don't get that audience reaction as you would if you were on stage, for example, in a theatre. Um, so yeah, coming out here, I get to meet the fans, kind of find out what they're like. They'll tell you what they don't like as well, which is all good. So, uh, you know, we, we, it, it is a way of getting the feedback. And, uh, and they do so enjoy meeting people that they've, they've watched in films. A lot of the films I've done have, uh, do attract that kind of um, it, it sort of fan following that, that they like to dress as the characters and things. You know, Harry Potter, we're seeing more and more of that. Of course, Star Wars is one of the oldest. Uh, you know, we celebrate the 30th anniversary this year of those films. So, uh, you know, that is a very well established kind of fan base. Um, I don't see so many people dressed as characters from Willow, but um, it all fits into that fantasy genre. Warwick, who has starred in all four of the Harry Potter films to date, is currently filming the next episode of The Chronicles of Narnia in New Zealand, although he remained tight-lipped about his chance of appearing in J.K. Rowling's latest creation. I don't know what happens any more than anyone else does. Um, the, uh, the next movie comes out this year, in July, which I'm in. Um, and the, the new one would start to shoot hopefully later this year but uh, at this point I don't know whether I'm in it because uh, just because you're in the book it doesn't guarantee you're going to be in the movie so uh, we have to wait and see. I'm here to basically have fun as many of the, the other geeks here are, are to do and to show off what, I, what I'm, I like, what I, what I have fun with, things like that. I've come as Master Chief from Halo. He's a genetically in engineered super soldier who fights aliens basically. There's a long story and he's awesome. <laughs> it's really great to be here and, and show it off and um, I mean the kids love it, it's really nice. Fans were also urged to enter a manga drawing competition where they were given the chance to win a range of goodies from market leaders Sweat Drop Studios. They could also enter special computer game contests as well as take on some of the very best players in fantasy board games. But at the end of the day it was left to the stormtroopers to show the fans who was really in charge.